You want to catch me with the greed in your words I'm keeping me captive, put locks on the doors Do the best to scam me off, try to put to rest my voice Try to make me think I don't have much of a choice Wish me when I was down, play low tricks from behind Looking for new ways to take control of my mind Resume is a heavy weight, yeah Put it on my back, give me everything, yeah I need, uh, I need everything, I need all of everything, yeah Let's get one thing out the way right now To me, this is the best budget smartphone in the game We got 6 gigs of RAM, 2 really good cameras Dual speakers, 128 gigs of storage Stock Android 10, a headphone jack and great battery life. The body's made of a matte black plastic, which does a great job at keeping the phone lightweight and fingerprint free. And at $350, this is definitely a no case kind of phone. Scrolling is smooth. I didn't experience any lag so far, and this is definitely not what you would think a $350 phone would feel like. Now I'm curious to see what this camera could do. underrated camera features that I've ever seen in a smartphone is called Google Lens. This thing is incredible, useful, and kind of scary. I took a picture in the middle of the night in a dark room while I was in bed of my dog's butt while he was laying on the bed with his back towards me and his face away from me. And Google Lens knew by his butt that that was a dog's butt. It knew that that was a dog and specifically bought up results for French Bulldogs. You guys at Google really do study everything, huh? Google is not doing all this with coding, by the way, in case you didn't know. They found a way to inject spells from ancient witches' spell books written in Pig Latin and then deciphered using Google Translate. One real problem that I do have with these cameras seems to be more of an Android problem than a Pixel 4a problem. And I've experienced this with some other Android phones as well. No 24 frames per second when you're shooting video. Google, this is something that really needs to be added immediately. A lot of people, including myself, shooting 24 frames per second. And for all the people and creators out there that occasionally mix their smartphone footage with their real camera footage, they're not gonna wanna mix 30 frames per second in a 24p timeline. And you ain't getting nobody that shoots 24 frames per second to switch over to 30 frames per second. This is the iPhone main camera. Check out the image stabilization. We're gonna be holding both cameras at the exact same arm length. And unfortunately, we have to shoot in 30 frames per second. And here is the Google Pixel 4a. Also, same arm length. Pay attention to the image stabilization. We're using the internal microphone on both cameras. It's nowhere near a deal breaker, but I'd definitely like to see Google do something about that. And since we're negotiating here, I'd also like to see some frames per second options added into the stock Google camera app. When I'm shooting slow motion, I don't know what a quarter or an eighth means because I don't know what it's a quarter or an eighth of. Options should be 24, 25, 30, 60, 120, and 240. That's the roadmap. 
no reason to go off-road. Besides that, the quality of these cameras are what we've all grown familiar with when it comes to Pixel phones. They're really good. So let's say you're in the market for a smartphone, which a lot of people are right now. Should you consider the Google Pixel 4a? Absolutely. It really bothers me when I invest my money into something and then realize after I get it that I didn't get what I paid for. But in the case of the Pixel 4a, I think you get more than you pay for. This isn't a budget phone. This is a bargain phone. Salute. Everything. I want everything. I want everything. That's on everything. It's like a weather.